Well, after three days of rain, Calgary is starting to feel a little more like Vancouver. Many are even breaking out the umbrellas just to keep dry, but do you know how to use them properly? This woman, who calls herself the civility CEO, says there's actually something called umbrella etiquette. This is more than being prim and proper. You could take someone's eye out with one of these things. On a windy, stormy day when we all need to get where we need to get, using your umbrella with, with really with respect is what it boils down to. And as Danielle told us, with the rain continuing for a while, we'll have plenty of time to practice that umbrella etiquette. A warning today from a new organization set up to promote safety around power lines. The new Joint Utility Safety Team, or JUST for short, organizes safety training programs. It's urging people to find out where the power line is before doing any work. You know, last year alone, we had 820 power line contacts. And while this number is actually decreasing from previous years, which is great, the severity of power line contacts has actually increased. Last year, there were five fatalities as a result of a power line contact. And Just says each day, three Albertans will risk their lives needlessly around power lines. The Alberta Liberals believe the province's health care system can be improved without going over budget. The party rolled out a no-extra-cost health budget today. It includes an audit of where money is being spent and how to reallocate resources in the more cost-effective way. Leader David Swan says the Liberals would disband the health super board and go back to health regions. He says they would also hire more doctors and create more long-term care spaces. A national symposium was held in Calgary today to talk about mental health and the justice system. The Minister of Public Safety says too many people with mental health issues are in prison these days, and he says that's because they're not getting the treatment they need in their community. Vic Taves says it's a long-standing problem that's not getting any better. This is a very disturbing trend. Uh, many um, uh, individuals... Uh, I, I think who are in our prisons, uh, while they are legally competent uh, in that sense, uh, clearly a, a prison is not the best place for these individuals to be. The minister says we need to re-examine the problem and work with provincial partners who are responsible for health care in the provinces. Well, die-hard Oprah fans did whatever they could to watch the final episode this afternoon. At South Centre Mall, these shoppers put down their bags and focused on the television screen to see the queen of talk shows bid her final farewell. She has been called one of the most powerful women in the world. She's touched the lives of people around the globe, including some right here in Canada.